Update us. Why has it, it been so long since we've seen you? You know, the ear was actually fine. Really quickly, I had knee surgery back in April. Um, the super basic, super basic cleaning up a meniscus surgery. And so it just took me a little while to come back from that. And then I've been training really hard. And, and I actually have been asking for fights um, for a while. I've been asking for fights for months. I didn't know if it was maybe because I... Uh, when Nick Diaz got his suspension, I was like, I'm not going to fight in Las Vegas because of that. However, I did go through the proper avenues, I felt like. Like, I called the UFC first, and I was like, are there still going to be fights for me if I say this? And, um, you know, I, I, I felt like I, I... So I don't know if, if I was on the shelf because of that or anything like that. I, again, I'm not going to go digging something up. I'm going to assume that it was just because they were waiting for the perfect fight for me, and and I think this is it. Well, let's talk about this fight. Ren Nakai, interesting uh, character. What what do you make of her kind of overall persona and of, of her as a fighter? You know, what matters to me is how someone is inside the cage, and I've gotten to watch a lot of that. And then I saw her just now, and I bowed my head respectfully, and then... She stopped and, and did a real bow, and I was like, well, shit, does that one up me? Okay, and then I did a little bit better of a bow, and... <laughs> Next thing you know, you're just bowing back and forth. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I mean, I, I have respect for anybody who steps in the cage, and I know that there's a lot of people who are highly amused by um, a lot of the different videos that she puts out there, but, I mean, I don't know how that's any different than, like, Felice Herrig's Instagram account, so, like, you know, it, it, it and that's not putting either one of them down. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, before anybody goes up in arms, it's not putting anyone down. That's just saying that people got to promote themselves. And when you find your niche, you find your niche. And if, if you're comfortable, you're comfortable. The biggest thing is owning it. So, I mean, I like to garden, but pictures of me and my cauliflower isn't quite as, like, popular on the Internet. Maybe I should work on that. But uh, if, if she's got her thing, she's got her thing.